It is just over two weeks until President-elect Barack Obama is sworn in to the nation's highest office. Fox 13 is introducing you to many Southerners who will make a journey to the Capitol to witness history. Tonight, Fox 13's Scott Mattis tells us about a young man who asked a member of Congress for a favor. Scott has the rest of the story. Hey there, Scott. Hey, good evening, Merle. It's a special story of a young man right here in Memphis whose dream is to see President-elect Barack Obama sworn in as the nation's 44th president. Tonight, his wish is a reality because of, because of Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn. Inside the north side home of 22-year-old Nicholas Pegues, three generations of Memphians stand. Few words can describe the feeling he, his mother Marilyn, and grandmother have for President-elect Barack Obama. I often see myself as, um, I saw myself as becoming the president one day. And it was an emotion, it was a dream that he was taking my dream and, 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 and becoming something that I wanted to become. We have, my mother and I, we have the experience of some of the things that we had to go through to get to the point to where we are today. And it's truly amazing to be, to be able to come together as one. Their excitement and support grew as President-elect Obama's campaign gained support nationwide. John McCain can't decide whether he's Barry Goldwater or Dennis Kucinich. Then the day many, including Nicholas, have been waiting for, when Americans voted Senator Barack Obama to become the 44th U.S. President. I was at my home, and I said, oh my God, Mom, he won the presidency of the United States. It's been a long time coming. It was a moment that, that was so emotional for me. I cried that night. Just a few days later, Nicholas, a former intern with 7th Congressional District Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn, contacted her office asking for a favor. I called um, Congressman Marsha Blackburn's office and I asked for two tickets, one for me and my mother, to get um, to the inauguration. His request was granted. Congresswoman Blackburn, like she had for 175 others, gave two highly coveted inaugural tickets to Nick and his mother, tickets to see history. For a young person who truly has a heart for public service, for them to uh, go through the process of applying for the tickets and having the interest to do it and the desire to go and participate, I do think it's wonderful. And God has really, truly blessed me to have him. I'm, re I'm really grateful to her and um, to God. America, we have come so far. The reality of what's happening, still surreal for this Memphis family. They'll always remember where they were when the senator from Illinois became the first African-American president-elect as they wait just two more weeks on the 20th day of January to see and never forget a day in history that will change history forever. My emotions is like... Oh God, I, I'm kind of speechless when I when I think about what we're about to go and to uh, actually witness, and it, it's just overwhelming to be honest with you. Um, I think he's going to make a landmark speech, and I think um, I, I leave the remarks of Barack Obama. That's his time, you know. I respect his time. I think it's going to be truly remarkable. Now, we're going to be in contact with Nicholas and his mother as they travel to Washington, D.C. to see President-elect Barack Obama as he is sworn in. And we will talk to them while they are there. If you know someone who's traveling to D.C. to see the inauguration, we'd love to hear about it. Come blog with us at MyFoxMemphis.com. Reporting live in the studio, Scott Mattis, Fox 13 News. We'll be right back. Many Mid-Southerners are in the nation's capital, including a young man and his mother from Bartlett, Tennessee. We talked to Nicholas Peggies after he got tickets from Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn. Tonight, we asked him about the experience. When Barack Obama spoke, um, it, was, it was hearing the first African-American president to speak with, with so, so much unity and power and and with so much unity and power that I just became so emotional behind it. Nicholas says that one day he too would like to become president of the United States. Air Force One coming in to Memphis, Tennessee. Nicholas Police reporting.
Welcome President Barack Obama to Memphis, Tennessee. Air Force One has landed in Memphis. Welcome President Barack Obama to Memphis, Tennessee. May 16th, 2011. <laughs> Nicholas Pegues here reporting and Air Force, Air Force One has landed here in Memphis, Tennessee. Welcome President Barack Obama. Nicholas Pegues reporting. Presidential motorcade. <laughs> President Barack Obama in Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs>
tool. 